produced in 61 originally, and it was based on the running gear of the Triumph Herald Saloon, which is altogether much more prosaic. But uh, this was a, a design by Michelotti in Italy, and um, the directors of Triumph liked it so much that they said, we've got to put that into production. They were absolutely right as well. Okay, following the uh, track, we have a Rover, 1969 2000cc, sorted by Roy Russell from Woodley. This car had only two owners of new when it cost approximately £1,500. The first owner of the mill was Shoes of Reading, bought by the present owner in January 1973 for a mere £825, which actually was a lot of money then. According mileage is only £109. The TC, of course, stood for twin cars. Fantastic. And now we've got a, a, a very much a local car, actually. Tristan Lever has brought this from Kidlington. It's a 1954 Morris Minor, so uh, um, it's one of the earlier cars. And uh, Tristan tells us it's lived less than 10 miles from its place of manufacture, which of course is Cowley, um, all its life. And the current owner is the only the fourth one from New. Uh, the past two years have seen a rolling restoration, including a respray and various interior improvements. Looking very, very good, actually. Okay, another of my favourites is a small car car, it's 105 the Anglia Deluxe, which is a 1967 car owned by Morris Roll. After 20 years off the road, this is the car's second show season after a 10 year bare metal rebuild. And uh, Morris is the second owner, very popular car, very distinctive, of course, the rear brake back windscreen, which they also use on the original Ford Capri. Talking of bare metal, you may remember Mike Brockway's famous Bristol, which was always um, appearing without paint. Anyway, Mike hasn't got it this year. What he's got instead is a 